What's going on guys welcome back to undead survivor um sorry my voice isn't doing too good i hope you guys can hear me while i'm doing this whole video but i want to do this for so long the weather is nice it is january 28th and there is no snow or anything and it is 35 degrees outside not wearing a jacket right now um guys once again i'm very sorry about my voice i know it's annoying i sound like marge simpson with a uh, liam neeson mix but um, yeah, guys, I want to do this video for a while because today we are doing Rick's Hatchet. And I'm really excited to do it today. We are going to be doing this on different things. We're going to chop it on a piece of wood. We're going to throw it at that target and we're going to slash it in the head with the mannequin blood, the money, the bloody mannequin. I'm sorry. Um, but first we do that. I want to talk about this weapon real quick. Um, this is a weapon I have never dealt with before. Uh, it is really heavy on the top, but it is very light. That's why I love, love it so much. Um, and yeah, guys, this is Rick's Hatchet. If you guys did not know that, just go back to, uh, trying to think of an episode here, uh, when the Walkers took over Alexandria and Rick, yeah, uh, killed all the Walkers and same with everyone else. They helped Rick and he used this hatchet to kill every single Walker with it. So that was pretty cool. And also, in the comics, Rick does have a hatchet. It's not similar to it. It looks a little different, but the reason why he still uses his hat hatchet because he lost his hand by the governor. So, <clears throat> he uses it time and time to help him out because he knows that he's going to have trouble loading a gun. He still uses a gun. He uses a pistol besides his hip. He does not use his revolver anymore because he knows it holds up six bullets and he hold got a gun that holds up 12, so... Yeah, but he mainly uses this hatchet for a lot of things. He sometimes uses his um, arm when he does with his out his hand. He uses it to choke people and just like kind of whack it or something. But uh, yeah. So if you are a person without a hand or any missing body part, well, except for a leg, this wouldn't really help you. But yeah, guys, if you don't have a hand or an arm, this weapon will help you through the apocalypse. But uh, if you guys want to try and make Merle's a uh, knife brace hand if you want to try to do that go ahead I mean I think I might do a video on that but today I'm just telling you this is the best weapon to help you for a survival through anything this will help you throughout the woods um, help you make shelter to chop down wood uh, it's pretty light to carry around instead of just using a big axe it is called an axe for some reason but I'm just gonna call it a hatchet but uh <clears throat> you know I'm very sorry guys my throat uh, I'm losing my voice. Uh, I've tried using it for several occasions for a hammer. You can use it for a hammer. That's what's so cool about this end right here. You can use it. Uh, it's this thing is really sharp. I did uh, shave out the uh, Japanese letters that were on there. I didn't like it there, so and I wanted to kind of look more like screen accurate. So yeah, uh, this the hatchet does come with this piece of rubber to cover up the blade. <clears throat> and I do have a holster for it. I'll show you that guys later, but to now I want to get on with this whole video and I'm really excited to show you. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will be right back in one second. One. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, this would definitely kill a walker. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, we're gonna try one more thing with it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to... Three, two, one. Oh. Yeah, that's done. Oh my god. That's done more damage than Negan bashing Glenn Abrahams with Lucille. Oh, I have to wash that now. Oh, the blood got everywhere, and <laughs> it's on my hand as well. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna 
clean this off real quick to do the next part, but yeah, we'll be right back. Okay guys, that was me chopping Walker's head and my dog just peed right next there. So, um, yeah guys, uh, you wanna be careful whenever you're trying to hit a Walker in the head with this because if you are with a group, you could knock them out by the end of this with all your might, you hit them right in the head, it could get them. And if you were wanting to go this way by hammering them, be careful because the blade's behind you. And you also wanna be careful by yourself because it will hit you in the back and it will stab you and that could hurt and you would have to go to the hospital or someone's gonna have to stitch you up but uh yeah guys you always want to be careful when you're with this weapon it's really an awesome weapon my hands are sticky from the blood it's from corn syrup and everything and it's just sticky I hate the feeling but you know what it's the apocalypse you have to go through it so now this other thing I'm gonna try out I'm gonna whack some wood with this, so to tell you, show you guys how this is a good weapon for survival when you have to go camping out in the woods, get your own firewood, and all that stuff, guys. So I'm gonna chop this blank of uh, wood right here. Uh, here, I'm gonna get it right there. I'm gonna chop that blank of wood right there. It's very thin. It's pretty easy, guys. And then after that, I'm gonna throw it at some drywall. See if it's good to safely throw it kind of like what Jesus did back in the telltale games of the walking dead the new frontier so if you guys want to play that game I recommend you guys play my game it's the best game I've ever <clears throat> played and yeah so now I'm gonna chop some wood with it Alright guys, I'm going to try long ways now. Hopefully this is a success. He doesn't even get it. Mm. Woo! Okay guys, thank you very much for watching uh, my Rick's Hatchet. Um, I'd recommend you guys buying this. This is only $30 on Amazon, and I think there's only 18 left, I believe. Uh, I got this uh, weeks before Christmas, so yeah guys, I'd recommend you guys getting this. Uh, they do sell them cheaper on eBay, but I got mine for $30, I believe. Um, there's only 18 left, so I would recommend you guys getting this, and hurry up quick. Um, and all th another thing, uh, who gave me the idea to uh, try the foam walker bloody head to test it on with this? Uh, that goes out to Journal 3. Be sure to check out his channel. I'm going to leave a link into his last video. He made uh, the 2009 remake of Friday the 13th. And it's really freaking awesome. And he said he was going to make one for me. I really cannot wait to get that. So, yeah, Journal, I really hope you like this video because that whole bloody walker head was just for you, bud. And, um... Yeah, if you guys do not know, I also have a lot of friends on YouTube, so if I didn't do YouTube, I wouldn't have made so much, so many cool friends, and I wouldn't have met any cool people on YouTube. Holy crap. Yeah, guys, also another thing. If you want to put this down in your holster, this is my holster, by the way. I, am, I have it attached to my belt right here. You guys want to be really careful because the blade's right here. Um, This is the best thing I got so far. I will try to get a better one in the future, but... Yeah, I'm going to put my little protector over it, if I can find it. And I got it right here. <clears throat> God, I sound like Marge Simpson. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, I would recommend buying, recommend you guys buying this weapon. Um, they do sell the thing Rick uses for his hatchet. But yeah, guys, I would really want you to be very careful when you're using this weapon because... It is dangerous. It's a real, it's a legit thing, guys. But Rick does not have these little hatchet symbols. Oh, here. Look, camera's right there. On each side. <clears throat> I'm very sorry. <clears throat> I hope it's, that makes me sound manlier. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Undead Survivor. I hope you guys like this. <laughs> um, so, also another thing, guys. Um, 
I have been working on something new that I could add on to the prize if you guys would like that. I am working on an Undead Survivor t-shirt if you guys would like that. But that only depends if you guys give me the coolest idea for the film. So, the contest is still going, guys. It, it's a beautiful day. I think I might do a photo shoot today. I am not sure for the film. <clears throat> oh, God, my voice. I hate it. I just hate it. So, <clears throat> yeah, guys. If you want to test this, test out the throwing, I would recommend you guys making a wooden target. Or I would recommend you guys trying it on drywall. Layers of drywall. Or cardboard. I, wouldn't, I don't know about cardboard as much because it didn't really go through. And yeah, guys, if you did not notice, I'm letting my facial hair grow up because for the film. Uh, I'm really going to try not to shave it. I really hate it. Not, I don't really hate it. I don't really like the feeling of the neck, and it just makes me look a little weird. So, yeah, guys, it's for you guys, pretty much. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Hold on. Guys, I am very sorry about that. Uh... It's a god, it feels so good outside. It's only January 28th, and it is only 35 degrees outside, and it's not really that bad. <sighs> no cold air, warm air into the cold air. Yeah, so, yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave a comment down below if you guys think I should have tested this out for anything else, or if you guys want to know more about this hatchet, come talk to me in, in the comments below. Uh, but definitely go check out Journal 3. He does really cool Friday the 13th videos. He deserves it. He has 433 subscribers, as I believe. And I did reach 84 subscribers. I'm really excited about that. Let's try to reach 100, guys. Help me out by that. And <clears throat> I will do something big. I will try to get all my weapons. We'll do it in one video. I'll try to get to that goal if I get to 100 episodes. But I think my next video will probably be uh, my new... Bow staff, my new Morgan bow staff, and I'm really excited to show you that, guys. Um, I'm thinking about buying another one though to sharpen the end because that's what he did. But I don't know, maybe I, I don't know. And yeah, I got a chain for a bracelet, and I thought I think it looks pretty cool. <coughs> so uh, yeah, guys, that's what's been going on. That's what's new. Contest is still going on. If you want to win that undead survivor shirt and the prop, you guys gotta give, give me some good ideas because that's the whole contest so yeah guys thank you very much for watching undead survivor i really hope you guys like this video be sure to check out my previous videos be sure to check out journal um zero three or journal three whatever you want to call them and i will be sure to make a video here real soon and again guys i apologize for not making so much videos lately school work yeah it's uh it's kind of crazy but anyway guys i will promise to make more videos uh i hope you guys have an awesome day and stay continued for undead survivor i really need to work on an outro be sure to keep watching undead survivor and telling your friends all about my channel because that would help me out to get 100 subscribers thank you guys very much and i hope you guys have a good day bye